This is Aprajita from Excel Champs and in today's video we are going to learn about six functions which you definitely need to learn in this year. <laughs> to begin with we have our first function which is concat. This function is basically an improvement over concatenate. Now I believe each one of us must have used concatenate once in our lifetimes to combine text or strings. Now guys, I have a question. What do you do when you have more than 50 or more than 60 text which you need to combine? So do you actually prefer typing each and every self-reference like 50 times or 60 times to combine those texts? If you are doing this, you need to learn about this concat function because this function has the power to combine the strings, text and most importantly the ranges. Now here for an example, we have two text in two different cells and in two different columns. Now first of all we will use the concat function to combine text1 and text2. Here I am using this function concat and I am simply selecting this range which is B8 to C10 and I press enter. Now this has combined my text given in column B and column C. Now this function has a limitation that is it does not provide the delimiter so we have to define it. Like here we will use a delimiter between both the sentences. I will select first text comma and give a space and then i'll select the second range and press enter now here this has given me a space between hey guys and welcome so this is how you have to define a space when you are using this function to combine sentences now the third way where you can use this is you can select these separately separated by a comma and then press enter this is going to give me the same result it gave me in the example here so this was all about concat function so i really suggest you guys to use concat over concatenation now the next function is text join now let's see how we can use this now here i have a text this example is same as the previous one except I have removed some text from these yellow highlighted cells. Now let's see what happens here. This is again used to join the text. So I'll use text join. Now here the syntax is delimiter. Now I need spaces between each and every text. So I'll put a space. And the next thing is ignore underscore empty. It means that do I need to ignore my empty spaces? If yes, I'll type true. Because here I have, sorry, separated by a comma. Because here I have the spaces in between my text. So I'll put it as true. Now I'll select my range, which is B8 to C10. So I press enter. Now here I get my complete sentence. Hey guys, welcome Excel Champs. Now this has ignored this space since we used true in our formula. Now let's ignore this truth in our next example. Let's say text join. Again, I need a space. And here we will add false include empty now this is going to include the empty spaces and i'm going to select my range here and press enter now this has given me a gap between welcome and excel champs since i have left a blank space here now the third way of using this function is again the same thing you can use it like this text join again a delimiter which is a space you can use any as you wish now i'll use it as true now i'll select the ranges separately and press enter now this is the same as 
the result. So when I change it into false, it is going to give me the second one. Yes. So this is another function which you must know since this is very powerful and it can help you in multiple ways. Now the third and fourth function is max ifs and min ifs. Now we are combining these formulas in one single example. So, so the max if formula is used to get the maximum value when you have multiple criteria. Similarly, the min ifs formula helps you to get the minimum value with multiple criteria. For example, here we are going to find out the maximum value in North region against the product cakes. So I need to find out the maximum revenue. What I'll do is I'll use this formula max ifs. Now first of all I need to select the range where my answer lies. Now I'm about to find revenue so I will select this revenue column because my answer lies in this column comma. Now criteria one is the region since I need to find the north region. I will select this region column, comma, and my criteria is north from this column. So, the second criteria is I need to find cakes, and where I need to find these cakes, I'll select this column and I'll select cakes here and press enter. Now, this has given me the maximum value in the north region against the product cakes, which is 12,096. Now in the second example, we have three criteria. Now let's use this max ifs. Now first of all, I'll select my revenue because my answer lies in this column. Now my first criteria is the region. So I'll select this column and criteria is south. Now my second criteria is the product. I'll select here for my chocolates. And my third criteria is the category which should be assorted and I press enter. Now I got the maximum value against South chocolates and assorted which is 10,000. So this is how you can use this max if function to get the maximum value against a number of criteria. Similarly we have min ifs this is gonna give me the minimum value everything remains the same now my answer again lies in this so i'll select the range criteria one is region so i'll select this comma north second criteria is the product so i'll select the cakes and press enter and this is the minimum value of north region against cakes similarly here i have the sorry here I have the three criteria which is first of all is the region which is south second is the product which is chocolates and third one is is sorted and I press enter so this is the minimum value which satisfies my these three criteria. So this is how you can use these two functions to get the maximum and minimum values. Now the fifth function is if function. Now I'm sure that you must have used nested if function to get the result with the multiple criteria. Now this if function has replaced the nested if function. For example, here I have five students with their marks. Now let's see how I can use these if functions. Now if this is greater than 90. I need the answer as A. 
again if b6 is greater than now i am giving three logics here is greater than 79 i need the answer as b and if my b6 is greater than let's say 69 if b6 is greater than 69 i need the answer to be c i'll watch this carefully what i'm doing here true and then we need out of watch so why i have entered true here because if function will start from here right let me drag this down and let's discuss this in detail so now here if i talk of this b6 is greater than 90 yes this is greater than 90 so it has given me a now when i copy this formula below this formula starts from here it will first check with condition 1 then with second then with third now i have given this true that means if none of these conditions are true i need the answer to be out of range so that is why it will first run first condition like 76 is is it greater than 90 no so it has not given me a condition 2 is it greater than 79 no it has again not given me b Now the third condition, yes, it is greater than 69, so it has given me C. Similarly, in the third option, 45, it has again checked from left, like for condition one, condition two, condition three, and then true. Since it does not satisfy any of the conditions, it has given me out of range. So this is how this formula works. You need to define, you need to define this condition when. none of your logical test or your criteria matches what do you want in result so this you need to define very carefully so this was all about the if function as the name suggests the switch function compares one value against a list of values and gives a corresponding result now for example here we have students names and their grades now we want to give us marks of good average and poor against each mark now let's use switch function here to switch the grades into the marks so i'll use switch what i want to switch is i want to switch the grades so i have selected b6 comma now i want if the grade is a i want the answer to be good if the grade is b i need my answer to be average and if the grade is c let's say i want the answer to be poor so here this has given me the remarks against each and every grade Now let's ignore this C. I'm also removing it from my formula, and I'm closing my formula of two conditions. That is to B. So this has given me an error. Now when I drag this down, I expect one more error against this. Now what you need to do is you need to define the output when none of your criteria matches. Like here, I am asking for an X maybe. and this is going to give me x against any grades other than a and b so when i drag this down i got my 2x since these does not fit into my criteria so i have got x as my remarks so this is how you can use these five functions to increase your productivity to save your time at work so i hope you like this video please don't forget to like comment and hit bell button thank you for watching guys thanks a lot